eyes and welcome back. So in the last lecture, we learned how to create our own custom brushes, get our own custom noise brushes and even use them on artworks. Now in this lecture, we're going to be actually doing something cool. We're going to be creating a character figure and then using our custom made brushes to kind of add shadows and highlights and texture to our character. Now, the projects folder you come across these files. Here, I have two files here. These are what we are going to be creating in the course of this video. Now, this is our character. You can see this is kind of a modern, trendy way of character illustration. I'm sure you've seen characters with this look before. If you are a good follower of illustrations, right? So this is the character we're going to be creating. Okay, first of all, we're going to draw the character. And then in the second video that follows, we are going to uh, add these green effects, these green highlights and shadows to this character. So when I zoom in, you see all the detailing. You can see that a lot of work has been put into this character. Okay. And this, this particular one has the background, while this one just has a plain background, okay? And we're going to be creating this in this video. So come to Adobe Illustrator, and then, oh, let's come and open. So when you open, you're going to see this exercise one. You can just open exercise one. Just come to the projects folder and open exercise one. All the files will be made available to you. So this is the character we're going to be creating, but I would like us to kind of uh, go out the character from scratch so that hopefully you get to refresh your memory on the tools you're going to be using, okay? So in order to add the grains, one thing I will have to confess to is that I made some changes to the brushes. Okay, I made some changes to the brushes. So when you, if you import uh, the brushes from the previous video, or if you come and open this file, because this file will be made available to you, you see that these are the brushes we created, right? Four of them. These are the brushes we created. And what I did is just came and I spread them out a bit. Okay. I observed that when we have them in this kind of circular shape, this kind of specific shape, and we paint, we just get our painting, take this circular form, and that's not natural. Or brushes like this, right? So what I did was I just spread them out a bit. So this is this guy, this one is this guy, and um, this guy is this guy, and this guy is this guy. Okay. So how did I do that? Let me just give you a quick tutorial of how I did that. So, yo, oh, we have them as a group, right? All you need to do is oh, uh, just duplicate this by holding down Alt and dragging. So just un ungroup them. You can then you just uh, spread them out like this. Just spread them out like this. And while spreading them out, the bounding box, okay, that's the, the blue square around the shapes might uh, interfere in such a way that instead of trying to drag it out like this, you then make a mistake and just uh, maybe skill it like this, okay? So that's because we have this bounding box. You you might not experience it here, but when you come to start dealing with very uh, tiny particles like we have here, you are definitely going to experience that problem, okay? So uh, that's one of the problems you might experience. So in order to sort this, you can just come to your view, and then where you see bounding box, okay? Uh, show, sorry, hide bounding box. You can just click here, and then we have it hidden, okay? And if you also want to hide your your anchor points, all you need to do is Control H, and then they're all hidden. So you'll freely be able to spread your ship out or your brush out like this, okay, without any interference from the bounding box or your anchor points. Okay, so that's one thing you need to note. So just do this for all the other brushes, and then. Let's have them look like this. So you can have them look like this, okay? And then one thing I didn't cover from the last lecture well, is how <coughs> to kind of export our brushes, okay? Our custom brushes, so as to use in other projects or so as to sell them in the market, okay? Because of course there are people selling brushes. There are people selling brushes, you can buy brushes, you can get some of them for free, okay? And these people are people like us who just 
do the skill of creating custom brushes, right? So in order to kind of have these custom brushes a separate file so you can import them into, into future projects or sell them online, all you need to do is uh, copy them. Okay, so we are going to presently uh, just try to create them as a custom library, okay? So we just copy all of them. I'm just going to go and turn on my bounding box, okay, show bounding box, okay, and maybe control with H to bring back the anchor points, okay? And then just select all of them and just control C. And we're going to create a new document so I can show you how to turn these custom brushes into real brush files which you can use in future lessons and also kind of sell them online, okay? Now, select the guy, go to your brushes and just add them. Okay, so we make them scatter. And then let's see, let's make it noise. Brush one. And continue the steps. So we just come and take our brush tool and try to draw our stuff. And yeah, this is what we get. And then just come and um, let's make everything here random. Okay, so as to get the best settings for our brush. Okay. Okay, and then for colorization, let's make it tint and okay. Okay, now we are done with the first one. We can delete. And for the second one, you just select and add. And then scatter brush. Let's see, noise brush too. And colorization, tint and okay. So let's draw with our brush. So we used to let's draw with our brush. And of course, you can see that it's taking the shape I was talking to you about, right? It's taking the circular shape, but of course, here it's a little bit better because we've spread the whole thing out. So let's try to work on our brush to see how we can make it better. So turn everything to random. Just try to play around with the options like this. <laughs> Yes, and okay. And now we're done with this one. And for these guys now, just select them and create a scatter brush and noise brush tree. And okay. And you take your brush tool and just mix or oh, paint in like this. Okay. And select everything and come and change everything here to random. And play around with the settings. And okay. Apply strokes. And then finally, we have these guys here. Now select them and create a scatter brush and noise brush four. Okay, and then use our brush tool to just you could pinch like this and try to uh, edit our, our options. Everything should be random. And then this guy should be tinted, and then let's try to uh, play around with our settings, right? Yep. 
you guys so i'm okay with our settings here and click apply and delete everything now from now on you can now delete everything we have here and then um what you then need to do is come to your brush panel brushes panel and select all the brushes here and just delete them apart from your custom brushes so just delete them okay delete delete and okay you can delete this one so oh these are the ones you can definitely delete them Yeah, so guys, we have this one here, which we cannot delete. And then we have these other ones, which are our custom made brushes and this one, which we cannot delete. So next thing to do is just come here and save brushes. Okay. Now let's go to our, um, to our projects uh, folder and, and just create a new folder and name it a uh, custom made brush library okay let's make it our custom meet first library and then go inside and near um noise brushes and save <laughs> now oh when you go to our projects folder we see that this this is our library now. This is our library, okay? Now, this is our library. Now, all you need to do is just close this file now. And let's try to import our library and see what we get. So, create a new file, a new project rather. And then maybe uh, let's have uh, maybe a, a, an ellipse here. Let's remove this true and give it a uh, view color. Okay, now all you need to do is come here and drag in your custom, sorry, don't drag it in here, don't drag it to this piece. <laughs> Just come here and drag it into the projects panel, okay, so drag and drop. And now we can see that we now have our brushes here. We now have our brushes here and we can start to work on them or to work with them immediately so you can create your your the ellipse okay and then draw inside and just select your brush and can and and right away you can start uh painting so now now you can start painting you see So that's how that's how to kind of uh, create your brushes and export them. Okay, so that's how to export your brushes. Now we are going to recreate this drawing here, and then we're going to add the textures to make it look like what we have here. Okay. So uh, the first thing I'll do is Control Artboard to just kind of duplicate this artboard to the side like this and then oh uh, just delete what we have here just delete it then come to file and place and then here we have the images so we're just going to place the this one without the noise background so just place it and uh, drag it out like this perfect Now we are just going to trace out this drawing. So just come to layers, create a new layer, and our we need to work on this layer. So for this one, I'm just going to reduce the the opacity of the drawing. Which means to reduce the opacity of the drawing. Maybe to 45. And then I'm going to lock the layer and select our new layer. So we're going to draw on our new layer. So the next thing we'll do is let's take our pen tool 
and then oh, try to start growing. So I'm going to write it starts to grow this oh, parts of the hair here. So this is how we draw in Adobe Illustrator. I'm very sure you are familiar with this. So after drawing the parts, I want to see beneath it and I want to maintain the color, right? So I'm really going to first of all sample the color we need, which is this color. So I'm using the eyedropper tool. Okay. While selecting that part, I'm using the eyedropper tool. This is the eyedropper tool. And I'm just going to click to sample the color. Okay. And I'm then going to use Shift X to uh, change the color to or change the fill color to the true color. And then we are just going to now draw out this part of the hair. Wouldn't be as exact as what we have here. Just make it close. So I'm going to close the shape here and take my direct selection tool and try to go play around with what we have here to make it look perfect. And of course, I'm using my mouse wheel and alt to kind of zoom in and zoom out and move around my drawing. So I have what we have here. And all you then need to do is select the shape, select the eyedropper tool and sample the purple color for the hair. And shift X, sorry, control zero. And kind of shift X to kind of swap the stroke with the fill color and really need to arrange and send to back so it's behind this hairy bone here. And so I think the pen tool, I'm going to mount draw the remaining of the hair, the remaining part of the hair. Okay, E for my direct selection tool, you know, try to play around with the handles to achieve a more fluid uh, look. Perfect. And we should also take this behind our ribbon, so arrange and send back. Perfect. Now select your pen tool and continue your drawing. So for these parts, I'll just start here, then come here and just try to create the head like this. Perfect. And for the puzzle, for the other parts of the head, we can just create it like this. Okay. 
you then select it either of two with I and just go and sample the color here. And of course, send it to the back. Arrange and send to back. And you can send it to the back by also using oh, this shortcut here, arrange, and shift control, open bracket. Okay, you can use this for your shortcut. Okay. And uh, the next thing will be to draw the ear. Maybe I should use the curvature tool so you get a taste of how the curvature tool works in case you do not know. Okay. So this is how we'll typically use the curvature tool. Very sweet and easy to use tool. So you're going to I and sample this color. And then of course send it to the back. And instead of swapping the colors, let's just leave them like this. Because there isn't much work to be done here any longer. So for the neck, I'm just going to draw this out like this. And come and click on the last anchor point to make it an angular anchor point, okay? So to admit the other handle and then do it an angle like this so you can draw a straight line like this. So this one, I'm just going to draw and drag. Then zoom out, zoom in, hit I for your eyedropper tool and sample. Arrange, and send it back. And for this one, we will do similar. So you can just start by, we can just start from here. Okay. So you can handle this, uh, this parts first. Okay, and then draw this, drag it out like this. And because it's going to interfere with my remaining drawing, I'm just going to shift X to give it a true color instead of a fill color. I'm going to use my A tool, that's my uh, direct selection tool, to try to even out my curve like this. And then come here, use your add anchor point tool, and I'm going to add an anchor point here. Select your A tool. And um, select your anchor point and just drag it out like this. Perfect. Select this guy also and drag it out like this. Perfect. And maybe drop this hand in like this. Select your pen tool and continue your drawing. And I'm just going to stop here. We use stop here and continue our growing the hand here because this is a different shape okay and so just stop here and then make this of course an angle so you can draw these other parts like this okay hold with z to undo and let's try to get it well perfectly so for this other one i'm also drawing it out like this i'm not drawing on the breast the breast is a separate shape entirely on its own. So draw the hands like this and just keep drawing. Okay, and finally you try to draw this piece like this and continue. Now use E for your Direct selection tool, and let's try to even out our drawing like this. Of 
perfect. So P for your pen tool. And so you just go back to your direct selection tool. And I feel it will be good for us to kind of work on this part. So here we have our code icon here, right? And we can just drag to increase the curvature. And really, I'm supposed to cover some of the features of this curved function here. Because we just covered the one feature which will give us a curve when we drag. But oh, I haven't covered uh, the other features which can be seen when we double click uh, the point. Okay, so when we double click the point, we have some other features which we can use. So I'm just going to maybe come to this later. So let's just continue our drawing. Continue. We can drag. Include it it's like your E2, right? So even out your drawing like this. Sorry, control Z. Perfect. And for this guy, let's give it uh, this color. and shift X to give it a stroke so it doesn't interfere with the remaining work we have and let's try to draw the hand now so I'll click 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 and click and you can just leave it as this later on we're going to add the stroke profile and so on and so forth <laughs> Now select your pen tool and let's try to create the this part of the hand. Okay, and we can just bring it here like this. Perfect. The next thing will be to create the breast. The breast is just what we have here. Perfect. And E for my direct selection tool. So even not the drawing like this. Like this. Perfect. So oh, let's continue to draw the lower part of the drawing. We need to start here. We'll come here. And just drag, draw it out like this and kind of like this. Like this and like this. Like this. Close it out like this, and oh, let's just make the the hip here, her hips here, more curvy. It's like the drawing.
perfect so for this guy you need to give uh, this fill color and one thing we do we need to sort here okay orange and seem to buck orange and seem to buck so one thing we do need to sort here is this leg okay so this one is kind of a different leg this one is kind of a different leg so um what i'll just do is i'll select the whole thing and create a duplicate and i will now use my uh my shape builder tool and kind of pulse and delete these other parts uh, delete sorry kind of use my my a tool and delete this anchor point so we have this line like this and then for this one i'm just going to take my uh my uh shape builder tool and just delete this guy that's holding down balls okay and clicking so that's what i would do and then for this guy i really want uh this one to have a cut here right so what i would do is i'll just come here and take my scissors tool okay then sorry not my scissors tool i'm just going to you know what i'm just going to come and take my pen tool and draw out a drawing like this a line like this rather and select this guy try to align it here select this guy try to align it here now select the both of them then just go to my uh part finder and then divide so this is divide so divide that will now have this as a separate uh, as a separate sheet i think it didn't divide properly why didn't it divide properly see what's happening Okay, if it's not going to work properly, you can do this as well. Just try it like this and select everything. Yeah, divide. Now, you can delete the mines here. And yeah, you can also just come here and create another divide. Select and divide. Just come and try to delete the middle here. You need to delete these guys here. Okay. And you know what? You can just select this anchor point and delete. Like this anchor point and delete. Now we have the straight line here. And what then we need to do? You just come on, just kind of align these guys here. This. After which, I'm going to close my, oh, my part finder and just align uh, these other ones here that's this or this other leg okay align it what you have here and arrange send back now we can furthermore delete the unneeded part of this by just ice uh, top clicking to go to isolation mode and just uh using a and uh just kind of try again like this okay it you even deletes this one okay perfect so i just hit escape to take it back to normal mode and then select the both of them the tap the boot parts and shift x to give it a stroke and right away we can see that we have a problem on this ship and all we need to do is just come and join this part this part yeah we have everything perfect now now select a pen tool and try to draw out the shoe oh here give it this color Of course, the next leg. You can shift X for the stroke. Perfect. 
now we need to grow the hands here right so click and drag orders deletes click and click and drag sorry control z Sometimes my computer turns Y on the keyboard to Z and Z to Y. I really don't know why it does that. And that's why uh, when I do Ctrl Z right now, you see it in, in this mood instead of uh, undoing. Okay, so uh, when I experience this kind of problem, all I do is now Ctrl Y instead of Ctrl Z. So you might get to experience this a little bit more often. Okay, so grab the hand like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. Then sample the color here. Go back to your drawing and arrange. And um, let's see. Center backwards. Again, just draw this. One out. When we come to add color and arrange everything perfectly, you're going to deal with that. Select this guy, give it a black color, increase the shook, and maybe two. Put it down, maybe three, if you should do. And then we have these parts here. Click, drag. We have this part here, we can drag. So we can just select the boots of them. You know what? We can even just bring the points here and this other one also bring it here. You should have the need at this juncture. Perfect. Now select the boot of them and go to properties. Click on stroke, go to profile, and do then this profile. And you can also do this here, volume to properties. So maybe we should increase the stroke. And then um, we need to draw the box, right? We need to draw the box, and then we need to draw the flower of this. So for the box, you come and get this guy. Oh, click here. This guy, yeah, this guy, down here, this guy here, so select all of them, hit I. And just come and sample the stroke here. Please cause the stroke size. Maybe we'll leave it at one. And then try to create these other parts here. They draw like this. This and like this. This. Shift X. And Maybe we give it a darker color. Let's just sample the original. Okay. I sample. And then draw Shift X. Give it a shook. And let's draw the next guy. For this guy will be something a brighter shade of purple. Let's see it with the stroke shift X. So you can draw the black lines you know, here. So I'm just hitting escape to end the drawing. 
So when I draw and hit escape, I can now end the present drawing and continue drawing. And when I hit, hit escape, I keep hit escape. Okay, so just for you to know, in case you don't know. And we'll continue our drawing here. We click, click, sorry. Click, click. Click, sneak and click. Then sample the color. Hit P for your pen to click and click. Click and click. Yeah. Come on, sample. I, this color, give it a stroke, shift X, take your pen tool, and now try to create these guys in the middle. Skip, click, click, and skip. Now select the book again. Shift I, give them your stroke. Hit P, your pen tool, click and click. And click and click. Then choose sound cool your dark purple. Okay. Click the guy here. Okay, sorry the layer is locked. So we can click. So just give it stroke, shift X. Then click and click. Click and click. Check. Give it the shake here. P. Let's just uh, give it a stroke instead. Then P. Or oh, select your pen tool. Click and click. Escape. Click and click. Perfect. Now for. This guy, you okay for these guys? Let's hit by and do them the stroke. Or they just select all the strokes, all the the strokes here, or all the shapes here, and give them a black color or this shade of black. Okay, now um we can now bring back our colors. Shift X. And this one needs to be above this one to so select the shapes, select the strokes here, arrange, send to front. Good. This one needs to be behind this guy here to so arrange, send to back. Perfect. Oh, this guy looks perfect here. This guy looks perfect also. So for this guy shift X to give it uh to give it the uh, the color, the few color and just try to adjust this guy like this. And for this one, I'm going to shift X and then send it to the back. And uh for this guy, shift X and yeah, we have what we are looking for. Now for the vase, I feel like copying what we have here because I don't want uh, to waste a lot of time. So I'm just going to unlock this layer and drag everything here like this and put down alt and bring it here. So the most complex part of, of this, um, it seems I've done something else, sorry. I'll just copy it again. I'll just copy it again. So we'll now alt, drag, and drop. Perfect. So now, um, you know what I'll do? I'll just lock this layer and select this guy. Okay. And select the background layer. Control X to copy and come here to this layer and unlock it. And then Control F to paste in place. And just uh, lock 
pack this layer. So what is other guy? The uh, the most complex thing here is just uh, using the ship builder tool. It's a very simple drawing. Okay, just view the 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 leaf like this. Okay, just view the leaf. Like this. And then for these holes, all I did was I used the pen tool created structures like this. Okay, maybe give it uh. Go green color, and then maybe do this and select the both of them, arrange and sorry, transform and reflect, and copy those something like this. You get the point now. Select all of them and then come to your ship builder tool and click it, and then hold down Alt and click. Move down alt and click, move down alt, and click and drag, alt and drag, alt and drag. And now we have these cuts here. And I just duplicated and rotated them and just added this stroke effect. So basically, that's what I did. Nothing much. I'm just going to go down alt and bring this guy here because I forgot to copy the one here. Perfect. Oh, maybe I just uh will, will reflect it. Okay. Just uh, root it. This and perfect. So I'm just going to delete this guy, and we're going to start working on bringing all our colors to life. Um. So select this guy. Shift X color. And when you're going to unmark this there, just uh, hit I and sample color. And for the body, we're going to shift X, bring the color back. And for this guy, we need to shift X. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring it to the front. But from that, I'm going to control C, control F, to copy and paste in place. And instead of giving a color now, or fill color, I'm going to give it a stroke color and boost the stroke and then give it this profile here. And you know what? For this guy, arrange, bring to front, shift X and control C, control F, and then give it a stroke color, shift X, and instead of this, give it a black color, boost up the stroke and give it a nice profile. For this guy, I'm going to shift X, arrange, send to back. For this guy, I'm going to shift X, arrange, send to back. Okay. For this guy, I'm going to shift X, arrange, send to back. For this guy, also, I'm going to shift X, and you need to send it back. Maybe you should arrange, and send to back. <laughs> Perfect. Now we left it this guy, select shift X, select shift X. And if we just uh fill on the air here or hide on the air here, we can see that we have achieved our drawing. Achieved our drawing, we can compare it with what we have here. Maybe these strokes should be a little bit thicker. So we up the stroke by one. And um, for these guys, we could make them one more pixel thicker. You should just select all of them, boost up the stroke by one more pixel. Okay, so drag and select these two. And uh, for this guy. I'm going to send it to the back. This guy and this guy, I'm going to send them to the back. So they appear behind his hand. And with this, we have come to the end of our lecture. And we've been able to redraw our character. Okay. So in the next video, we're going to paint our character with our custom brushes. So see you in the next one. Bye-bye.
Hello guys and welcome back. In this lecture, we're actually going to be painting on our character. Okay, we're going to add those shadows, add those highlights that make the whole thing look good and textured, okay? Like this. We need to turn our character to this. Yeah, so go back to Adobe Illustrator and first thing first, select your character and then select the draw inside of function here activate the drawing set function here and when you see the box here you do that now you can draw inside so we're going to start by selecting our brush here so select the brush i have my brushes here okay so i have my brushes here so select the brush and of course i'm going to have uh, this copy here so you can access the file and then follow along okay and you have to know that using paints using these uh, sorts of brushes will add width to your drawing, will add width to your project and it might eventually slow down or it will eventually slow down your computer. So you just have to take note of that. If possible, do not overdo it. Okay. So I'm going to take my brush now, select my brush and then maybe sample my color and shift X and then select back my brush. And when I paint now, you, I can't, see, I won't be able to see what I've painted. I just need to make this darker. Yeah, when I paint now, you see that my painting appears now inside my uh, my shape. So we are going to undo this. Okay, and then I'll maybe make it a little bit darker. And um, we're just going to come to stroke, and I'm going to use a smaller stroke here. So let's use 0 0.5 first. Let's see, and immediately you can see that i am now painting inside my ship inside my ship really to paint uh around like this give it that uh shadow kind of look Okay, we need to change my brush to something more dramatic. Let's use this guy. And uh go. Shift uh oh control Z. And um I want to maybe reduce the size. This. So uh there's no specific way to do this. So specific and the right way to do this. Just uh make sure you 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 um uh, you use the right brush stroke size and then make sure your highlights in your shadows come to life right there so i'm just going to keep painting there and keep painting and keep painting maybe just stick this to one it's too much You need to do it outside so we can have the after matte effects here. See? That makes sense. And uh, the next thing I'll do is uh, just brighten up my color. Brighten up my color. Maybe I'll just sample mean color and then try to brighten it up. Good. Then select my stroke. Go. So just use this scanty one, B, for brush. Then Maybe I'll just uh, use this. Okay. So maybe we should increase our stroke, 0 0.5, and keep drawing. And already, as you can see, our drawing is beginning to come to life. Let's compare it with uh, what we have here. And you can see that we even have brighter sheets here, brighter than what we are currently having. I will not go to the extreme with this, just bring so. 
bit more grits. Okay. I was a little bit extreme uh, on this one. So I won't go too extreme. I'm just going to be a little more moderate. Perfect. Next thing I'll do is select some of this uh, darker color and I want to use the sink brush to just kind of uh, add life with this maybe make it even a smaller shook and then just you know do this And maybe I should make it now darker and try to and follow the edges of it. Perfect, guys. So I like what we have here. May not be as dramatic as the one here, but I think this will suffice. Next, we select our uh, our our selection tool. Again, and click out of our grow insight function. Now the next thing is to select the other part of the hair, and then grow inside. And if you do want to uh, add more drawings or more painting to the ones we have done already, all you need to do is just come and double click. So when you double click, you get inside the, the shape and now you can maybe add more drawings, okay? So that's the way to add more drawings or edit what you have done. Perfect. So just kick and click and you are now out of the ship. So select our next ship and draw inside. Take our brush and start to draw. Maybe make this darker. And then use the stroke size like this and even maybe this. Let's try to draw. Let's compare with what we have here. Okay. Let's continue our drawing. Let's just brighten up. Oh, sample this guy. So, sorry, sample our. Sample our main growing and just. Brighten up a bit so as to add. Oh, sorry. If I feel Z, just pecs. Let's give it this stroke. Dot. Oh, one thing you can do is just keep selecting but the tool. So when you select but the tool, you can put the the stroke size and it's going to now work. Just you are experiencing some of the programs I'm experiencing here.
Perfect. So we have the shadows, we have the mid-tones, and we have the highlights. We will even create another layer of highlights. Make this bright tidy in and just maybe change the the brush to this one. Okay, then make this brighter and select your stroke size. And yeah, now we have another layer of highlights, uh, brighter highlights. Okay, so that's the way to add shade. Or that's the way to, to kind of shade your, or color your, your artwork. So you have to have the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows. Okay. Um, maybe I should add more shadows to this point. So high and select your eyedropper tool, take a paint, and kind of do this. Okay. We can even make our shook smaller, maybe 1.5, 0 0.15 rather. Okay, and it's even uh, way thinner, way smaller. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. Now we can go out of our ship, set the pen tool, and go to the next ship. Now this is the next ship, and uh, go inside your brush tool, select your your brush preset. Maybe we do Shift X and kind of remove the stroke, J, okay. and select your brush once more, and just give it. That's look you want. 0 0.0, 0 0.25 and darken it up. Start to paint. Perfect. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm not going to do too much here. So go out of the ship, select the next ship, go inside, and uh, shift X, select your, your, your brush, select your guy here, and then give it the stroke size you want. Okay, it turned out that I double clicked the brush tool and it brought out this. Uh, options, but I'm not going to edit anything. I'm just going to continue my painting. Okay, so I'm going to take a darker shade. And then I forgot to um, change my stroke size, maybe one five. Okay, I'm just draw it out like this. Maybe even one. 0 0.1 Draw it out like this Perfect Perfect, I like this guy here And the next thing is to paint the neck, right? This is the neck And select your guy And go inside Select your paint, brush tool, select your presets, change the size, and start to draw, right? I want to make this even smaller, 0 0.15. Yeah, and I want to kind of create the shadow beneath the head so that the head will pop out, okay? Something like this. So really, guys, you can just use one brush for this. Use one brush for this. 
for everything. You gain one brush for everything. But in order to add flavor to the whole thing, because you can use multiple brushes. So I'm just going to um, sample my color and get a brighter shade and select my brush, give it 0 0.15 and paint, sorry, 0 0.15 and paint. Perfect. Well, let's go out of the two and um, now let's work on the big guy here. That's the shit. Okay, so select your guy, go inside, select your pen tool, um, select your brush preset and change the brush size. Okay, right away you can start painting. So I'm going to just undo and um, I'm just going to start to paint like this. Maybe this color is too shouty. So I'm just going to sample this guy here, Shift X, paint it to the shook and uh, just darken the color a bit B. So let's go back to my brush tool and choose the size 0.25. And I want something more uh, intense, right? So I'm going to choose this guy here. Select this guy here. Sorry, this guy here. Do it 0 0.25. And continue. Up. So I'm going to be to. We'll kind of focus on making this part very subtle. It won't be shouty, it's just going to be subtle. Remember, we have it kind of look, uh, looking subtle at this point. Okay, we even have the, the, the bulk of the shadows around here. So I'm kind of making a mystic with my painting. Or maybe we can just leave them here and have other ones here also. Not bad. So um, I'm even going to maybe make this darker. And then paint here also. So this kind of outlines the breast. See? So I'm really going to choose this brush here to add flavor to the whole thing. Okay, so we don't just have a specific brush, just one brush. I'm going to, okay, sorry. I'm going to use my brush here. Here, okay, just control Z and try to have the bigger ones around here. Perfect. Good. So I like everything green so far. Go out of your ship and uh, select the next ship. I'd like us to work on the breast. So remember we have breast stroke and then the breast uh, shape. 
the the ship has no stroke. In case you it's the ship we are going to be drawing on. You select the ship, go inside, select your brush tool, select your preset, and select the the stroke size, and then just ah sorry. Um, I can sample my color, sample your color, B, then paint hell out of it. Yep. We do on beyond doing some of the painting here, I don't want them to exceed this part because they will cut out so my system is experiencing some smoothness and that's very common when it comes to painting with uh, these kind of brushes okay so i'm just going to take my brush tool and continue painting like i've been doing Perfect. So I kind of like what we have so far. Um, select your selection tool, go out of the tool, go out of the sheep rather. And you're doing something really good here. And I must say I forgot to paint around this uh, part of the sheep because the hand will definitely be casting shadows on the body and it has to reflect here, right? So just double click and go back into the ship, select your pen to, uh, sorry. Since I can go back into the ship, so select the ship and then click to go back, select your pen to, let's continue painting. I think we need to reduce the size. Okay. Let's keep painting. This. So like this. Maybe you make it even bigger. Make the strokes even bigger. Yeah, and this should work, this should suffice. So let's go out of our ship and see what we achieved. Yeah, I kind of like what we have so far. Perfect. Next thing to do will be to select the next ship and go inside. And select your pen tool, sorry, your brush tool, shift X, and darken your color. Bits. Okay. And paint. And uh, undo and just give it a tiny stroke. Just paint. Just paint and paint and paint. Let's kind of blend things here. Good. Sorry, I overdid it, and so I just dock my my uh, workspace back and kind of undo the last one. And and yeah, I think I like what I have so far, and I won't do more. Or maybe I'll just add 
one more day of amazingness. <laughs> okay, one more day of of um of shadows. Okay, so let's maybe choose this other brush and select the guy here and just ah. So you body's messing up. Select the guy here. This pins uh around the edges. See to create more shadows. I will stop here on Google because how then to go inside the into the body shape to blend it. Or maybe I should just do it. Yeah, do it. Okay, so go into the body shape and kind of use um the tool here. Ah, sorry. to make it look like this, okay? So go out of the ship. And yeah, you know how the perfect blend here. So I'm done with the body and the hands. Uh, my next target will be um, this hands here, this hands here. So select the guy and go inside the ship. And then the brush tool, shift X, and select your, your paint brush preset and change the stroke. And yeah, you brighten it up or darken it up a bit. And just start messing around with your shape like this. Start painting. Okay, maybe choose this more intense brush. Okay. And Perfect. And then um, I would like to brighten it up. Maybe sample my color. Then Shift X. You can brighten it up like this. This. So, this guy. And um, maybe we choose this scanty one. And then this one here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the whole thing like this, like what we have so far. So go out of the ship and select the next ship. This is the next ship. I shifted it a bit, so control Z. So, oh, I'm feeling we should work on the second hand. Okay, that's this guy. Finish work here, we'll work on this guy. So what I am going to do is I'm going to just or uh, work on the drawing first. Just going to um sorry maybe delete this guy and delete this guy. Select this guy get the call of this perfect. Select this guy too and create the call like this. Perfect. And finally select the guy. And go into the ship, select your brush, shift X, sample the color and take it uh make it darker. And yeah, select your brush, select your stroke size. So sorry guys, I double clicked the brush uh, tool again and I don't need to double click. So I just okay and um and then let's start to draw or to paint, right? Perfect. I'm going to brighten up my color a bit. Uh, rising on my color, I to sample, sample, shift X and 
Let's brighten up my color a bit. And B for brush and just, yeah, paint here. Sorry, I need to reduce the stroke size. 0 0.02. And then brush. Maybe make it even more brighter. Again, maybe the stroke size to 0 0.15. And then, yeah, see that we're achieving better highlights, right? Perfect. Yeah, and I kind of like what we have so far. So, um, and I kind of feel like, like darkening this part up more so that we have the highlights kind of the needle. Okay. So, and I'm going to do that right now. So I hit I, select the dark guys here. Okay, sample the dark guys here and hit B for brush to continue painting. I'm going to, of course, reduce the stroke size. Open. One five. And then we're going to print around the edges. This. Perfect. So um go outside the shape and yeah, like what we have so far. Now the next guy is this guy, the big guy, to select the big guy. And I can see that we are not able to go inside the ship. It turns out that the big guy is a group. Oh. It turns out that the big guy is a group. So let's try to ungroup it. Let's see. Yeah, so now we can go inside the ship. J, control Z. So now we can go inside the ship. So go inside the ship. And then uh, take your brush tool, shift X, and make the color a bit darker. Okay, and then select your your brush, reduce the size, and we can begin painting. Maybe we should make the size bigger. We need to undo some of the drawings here, some of the paintings here, and make the size um, 0 0.5. Let's see. Yeah, I like 0 0.5. So we're going to work with 0 0.5. Need to work with 0 0.5 for now. Maybe we're going to reduce it. And we are trying to paint some other more intricate parts, right? Mm hmm. Chip painting. If you like, you can use other brush presets, but I'm just going to stick with this one. Okay, I just want to get this done quickly so the video doesn't come unnecessarily long. Okay, so I'm going to reduce the stroke size. 
because I want to paint oh, this is like this. I want to add some shadows in cases like this. So I'm just going to uh, kind of add my shadows. So as to make this part stand out. All right. Get the point. Like what we have so far, and maybe I'll just add another level of shadows to maybe make uh, the tints darker, make it darker, so I still have better shadows at the edges. Maybe we'll make it more dark. See? Just so that the edges can stand out. This. So one other thing, guys, I need to create a clear demarcation between these two legs, okay? So I need to demarcate them with uh, a more precise brush. So select the guy, do it the color in. And you know what? I think I will just use a smaller uh, stroke size, 0.15, just kind of do this. Oh, might not be really perfect because it's interfering with these other parts of your drawing. But you know what? We don't have to make it too, uh, too precise, right? So we can just come towards here, maybe just come towards here and paint. This one doing. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to use the my brush here. This brush, I'm just going to use it to. Uh, I just need to undo around and change the stroke size. Then select my brush. This stroke size, I'm just going to um just make it a subtle, make it subtle. Okay, just make it subtle. I'm really going to make it subtle. Good. I think this will work better. Work better. Perfect. Maybe we can just build up like this. Build up into these other parts of the leg. In a subtle manner. Okay. Perfect. Now we are left with uh, these other parts of the leg. So go out of the sheet. Select the guy. Go inside the sheet. Select your your paint brush too. Select this guy here. So let's your know, stroke size and begin to paint. For this one, oh maybe a little bit 
of darkness, a little bit of more darkness will do, so as to differentiate this guy from this guy, right? Let me do this. You can see that we now have a you know, shadow casting on the leg behind. Another kind of effect we should have achieved here, but it's not still bad. Okay. So um, just select the brush once more. Now right, let's make the painting more subtle now as we build up to the end of the leg. Okay, we can see let my eye drop a tool and try to sample out these brighter shades. Okay, and then brush. Yeah, and I kind of like what we have so far. So go out of the shape and um, let's do the legs, these legs. Okay, so select the leg, go inside, select the brush tool, shift X, make darker. Select your brush and brush size, paint. Good guys, so um, I'm going to leave this one like this. Go out of the ship. Select the next guy. This guy. Go inside the ship and brush to shift X. Make it darker. Select your guy here. Give it smaller look size. That's pink. Dude, now we are done with the character. The only parts left are the box here. So select the guy, go inside the ship, so I can paint to um shift X, make it darker. And um select uh, the brush preset and make this darker paint. Maybe even make it a uh, bigger zero point five. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, print. Need to make the shadow stand out so that um our ship will stand out, right? Perfect. For this next guy, we need to select the guy, go inside the ship, shift X, make. This, uh, maybe even that, huh? Okay. Select the paint brush preset and then, uh, the stroke size, right? And then brush size. Yeah. Let's do this. 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 Maybe we select the more intense brush. We change the size to 0 0.15 and kind of. Uh, okay, we'll make more intense painting around the middle. Sheep. Yeah, I like what we have. And towards the, the end, we can actually make our sheep brighter. Maybe sample the bright color, sheep X. Then make the sheep brighter. Make the sheet brighter. So let's so you know, guide back. Then give it shook, desired shook. 
So sorry guys, I tend to keep double clicking the brush tool. Okay. And I don't want to make any changes, so I'll just cancel. Then select your stroke size and then paint. Yeah, paint. Just paint around the edges. This. Yes, guys, so that will be the end for this ship. Um, so go out of the ship and select the next ship. With this one, we are going to uh, use the same brush, Shift X, and make the stroke even darker. Select the brush, give it a stroke, smaller stroke, and then paint. Perfect. Select the, the selection tool, go out of your ship, select the next guy, and go into the ship, select your brush tool, select your your brush preset, select the the size of the truck and then make this darker and then paint. It's too dark, so I'll just undo and I have sample my color, Shift X, and then make it a little bit darker. Then paint. Sorry. Then paint. See now my 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 stroke is big now. So paint. Right. No, I'm really going to paint all around, all around like this, and then come on, darken my color so as to be precise in the middle and then just select this guy in so as to be precise in the middle right this maybe even reduce my size then uh paint it like this Dude, <laughs> now the next one is to uh, work on this last guy, or this last bug. So select the guy, go into the ship, your pen and your brush to shift X, and make the stroke darker. Select your brush, okay, select your brush, and then select the stroke size, and paint. It needs to be more intense at the end so as to differentiate it with the white bug. Perfect. Now just go out of your ship or maybe just uh, brighten the color. Maybe I to isolate to um, sample, shift X, and brighten the color. Up a bit, B, a brush, and let's just um, let's just uh, pins. Perfect. I'm go out of your your ship. Select the last ship, and oh, uh, go inside, brush, shift X, darken it up a bit. Okay, select your guy here, use this guy, or maybe even use the smaller one so you can focus on the needle. And just paint in the needle. Paint like this. Paint like this. Paint like this.
Şey, bu sample min kaba. Şifex, mikitibin brighta. B and print. Ah, oh, sorry, my stroke size needs to be. Ah, oh, sorry, I double clicked the the brush again to select and stroke size needs to be small. When I zoom in, we can see that we are this one five. You can see that we are having some nice highlights here. Yeah, basically that's it. Don't want to do too much here. Because that's it. Uh, I docked it out again. I'm just going to dock it in. Okay. Now, select your ship. Sorry, your selection tool and go out of your ship. Perfect. Now we're completely done. With our character and we can see the details we've been able to add very beautiful shadows and highlights now the next thing left is to do the flower face here and the flowers and then maybe do that background and in order to just keep this video short i will ask you to complete the remaining so you get the point and of course you've gotten the steps you just have to select the guy Go inside the ship, select your brush tool, select your brush preset, change the, the, the stroke size and then paint. Okay, so you then uh, do these leaves, do the leaves and do the flower base. All right, so I'm just going to import um, the one I did with the background. See, okay, I do the background so you can see how the background should look like. Perfect. So this is the one with the background. I'm just going to scale it up. And you can see what I did here. I just uh, fitted this ship. Okay. And we had the main background has this color. So you are going to be responsible for creating the ship also and then just painting in the ship, in the two ships, right? Just like we did here. So all the files will be made available to you. And I would like to see what you can come up with. This will come to the end of this lecture, so see you in the next one.